Hey guys, welcome back to my Minecraft video, and for this video, I have the crazy voxel map to show you guys today. It's on the top right of my screen. Um, the downloads will be in the description, but today I'm sort of going to explain the basics of this map and what you can do with it and everything like that. So, let's get started. So the first things first, if you might notice, if I'm turning around, you will see that the directions change. So this right here is north, then over here we have south, then east, then west on this side. You might also notice at the top of the screen on my right is all these sort of like mob heads. You will notice that they aren't very bright and I'll show you why. The higher we go up, the darker they get, which basically means they are underneath us. Um, the closer we do get to them, the brighter they get, which means we are getting closer and closer to them. Um, I will show you guys later on going into sort of like caves and things like that. But, you know, if I keep on going up, these mob heads will start to disappear, which means that they are so far away, they aren't even worth putting in on the map. And it's pretty crazy, you know, like, it kind of tells you everything they have around here. You know, there's nothing hidden in that forest that you can't see on the map, which is really crazy. So, next things next, let's click on Z. Z will zoom in to a closer area, which will sort of allow us to see exactly where these mobs are. Um, it's quite a nice feature, um, but then we press Z again, we'll even go even closer, but then the furthest one away uh, is the last one. So just pressing Z will kind of broaden out the specter of this map. So as you can see, we've got witches, we've got skeletons, we've got creepers, we've got zombies. Um, if we went into the nether, there would be pigmen on this uh, map, and everything like that is pretty cool. So if we press M, you will see that this is sort of like the longest distance my rendering for my computer can go which is the whole distance you can basically see um, right here you know this is as far as it goes from that mountain over there um, which I'm guessing is right kind of over here where this icy area is um, so yeah that's it actually There's, I can see ice over there now these are quite a few cool features now if you click waypoints you can sort of um, give yourself waypoints and there's a few features for this um, for example if we press B, which will create a waypoint, we just, um, let's call it um, video. And we click done. Now there will be a waypoint on the map. Um, but what you can do with this waypoint is you can do waypoints, uh, video. You can either teleport here, like, let's teleport there. There we go, we teleported it to it. So you can kind of put waypoints at your house. You know, there's so many new features you can do with this map. It's a really cool feature, something I'd really strongly recommend. You will be able to see it on our normal map also. You know, this is a cool feature. And then what you can do is you can do the distance on the highest, you can do colors, you know, you can color code them, you can do a new waypoint. Um, you know, whatever you want to do, it's really up to you. Something you can also do is go in options. And if we go on like radar, you can do random mobs, you can turn off uh, show neutrals. As you can see now on our map, we have chickens, we have uh, bats, we have cows at the end over there. You know, it's a pretty <laughs> crazy feature. Um, so we can go on enable cave mode, which I will show you in a second. You can have different sizes if it's too big, too small, medium, regular, large. Um, you can hide it and have just the coordinates on the top. There's so many things you can do. You can even change where you want it to be. You know, depending if you want to do like a little GTA map, you can have it at the bottom here. You know, there's so many things you can do with it. You can make it a square, a circle, um, in-game waypoints, which now, if we click done, it'll be a huge beam. So now if we go over here, we'll be able to know, okay, this is the video one which I saved. You know, that's the sort of feature that is really cool. And it'll be right on this block right here. So looking up, you'll have it exactly there, which is super fancy. So I've managed to find a cave, so let me show you what happens when you go underground. So keep an eye on the map also and what I'm doing in game, I will go quite slow. So directly we go inside, you will notice that everything starts to change a bit. It does take maybe a few seconds for it to notice that you are underground. And it will do it by layers. So right now we are on the top layer, it's like going through floors. And it's like chopped off the land as we're going down. So here we go, we're down more. And as you can see, there's no real caves. I'm going to hide. Um, that's annoying. Sticky keys. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, just so you can kind of see it all, I'm going to hide the mobs. So let's do radar. Um, where is it? Hostiles. Let's take this off. Just to show the caves 
and we'll be done there. So let's keep on going down. And as you can see now, let me just go all the way down here. We are in this uh, linear cave right here, and there's a lava that's on the map. Um, so yeah, let's keep on going forward, and these would be on the map. But yeah, it's kind of saying there's a place to go around here. So let's go in here, and at the end to the left, we will be able to find lava. So let's go in here. They're saying there is lava around here somewhere, and there it is. There's the lava we're on about. And look at this, like all the water. We found a huge sort of cave network and you still got that beam over there going off. And um, there's quite a few things you can do. So um, maybe a good sort of uh, adding would be to add all the ores and stuff like that. So this could be a few more features. I'm just like following the map around and trying to figure out where are the best routes to go. They're saying there's lava over here. So if I dig through, we should be able to find lava in just a few seconds. Um, so let's see. It's just saying it's just over here in this little corner. Let's see. Where's the lava? Okay, the lava is there. That's the lava I was trying to look for. So yeah, there's definitely some cool things you can do with this um, map. So let's head back to the surface and let's finish off this review. So if we go back into options, you can go into radar. You can do show hostiles. You can turn off all creepers and everything if you're on peaceful mode. Show neutrals, let's turn that off. Let's turn this back on. You can get players. Um, if you're looking for mobs with helmets, you can turn on that and they will all appear. And there's quite a few things you can do, you know. You can even decide which mobs you want to appear on this map, you know. Um, withers are disabled, witches are disabled. Um, so, you know, you can disable it. Let's disable mod icon. Now we won't be able to see it. We're disabling all of these now, look, see. But now if you click enable, you can enable, enable, enable. So you can do all of that that you want to, you know, go for. And there's a few more things I'm sure like you'll eventually figure out yourself. For example, controls, you can have quick codes, you know, you can toggle things off and on. You know, there's quite a few things you can do. Details, terrain depth, um, it's changing sort of like the terrain, block transparency, which will kind of show you um, in a bit more detail and a bit not of what to expect on the terrain. The water transparency, uh, biomes you can turn off. Uh, chunk grids which is now the squares in the map. I'll show you real quick actually. There you go, now we've got squares which I might actually leave because it kind of shows you how many chunks you've going past. Um, and then finally we have a few more things on this map which are quite fancy. Just looking at this map overall it's quite nice to see okay you know there's a nice beach here, there's a nice beach over there, you know there's quite a few options you can use for this world map. So let's do um, max zoom, let's do this out, regions cache, let's do this maximum there we go. Let's see if it'll load. Because I know that this will take forever to load. Um, let's go up and let's click on this. So that's kind of like the size of it, which is pretty small. Um, let's go on the world map. Uh, regions, cache size. Let's turn this down, down, down. Let's see what happens now. We're going to click on M. Like, look at that. That sort of like could be the vast majority of things. Um, something I might do is go on my options, click on video settings, render distance, oh man, is that the highest possible, which is annoying, but I guess there's not much I can do about that. But yeah, there's so many cool features that you can enjoy with this voxel map that I just wanted to show you guys a little mob showcase about it. So if you want to download this mob, there will be a link in the description, and don't forget to comment your favorite bit, and I'll see you very soon with another video. Peace out.